Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Lenovo T14S. This is a Gen 2. And if you're not sure where to find the model number, take a look at the back of the computer right here, as well as the fine print on this side. It will show you that the model is ThinkPad T14S Gen 2 and we'll be doing a screen replacement all right so let's go ahead and get started with that at this point here what you want to do is to get yourself a metal prying tool um, what you want to do is to kind of stick in between that little bezel right there okay so the bezel has the double-sided tape uh, it's kind of, kind of like a glue that holding down the bezel you want to be very gentle when you pry it open do not force it out because you try not to break that bezel right so let's go ahead and and just kind of cut the adhesive at the same time kind of lift it up a little bit to kind of pry it open okay I like to work the top and then the side and I'll work the bottom at the end Alright, pretty much at this point right here, what I like to do is to go ahead and kind of give it a quick run from left to right and see how far I can go. It looks like I kind of get stuck at this point here and I'll come back on the other side of the, uh, the screen and then just run that prying tool. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of cutting that adhesive, give it a good and some of the tape would just come right off. As you can see, I have some difficulty removing the bezel. What happened to that is instead of cutting the outside of the black tape, I was cutting inside of the black tape because I wasn't seeing it. So when you kind of cut it, you want to have a good feel of it, a feeling that your prying to is above the black tape and cut that adhesive, not inside the black tape, cutting the black tape out of the screen so because this is a broken screen so I'm not really worried about it but if this is a working screen then that is a different story all right so the bezel just come right off in one piece like that and you want to save the bezel on the side here now the next step is if you take a closer look here you can see that little black tape and that thing is for you to pull down you see that okay so that tape is holding down the screen so here I'm pulling it down so I'm pulling it towards my body and try not to break it okay well maybe this is a short one usually it's a long but I guess this might be a short one again you want to come here on this side if you can see the little tape right there Okay, please remove the tape by pulling it down. Okay, now maybe they have some tape on the top. I don't see them. All right, there's no tape on the top. Pretty much that's the only tape they have. It's the two tape at the bottom. And once you remove the two tapes coming from the bottom, the screen you can just flip it towards the body and you will just end up like this all right the next step here you want to somewhat peel off this little uh, tape right there peel it backwards 
and then here you want to pay a close attention to it you should be able to see that there's a clipper right here all right there should be a clipper right here you want to flip open the clipper okay and then slide the cable away from your body to remove it okay so there's a clipper open up the clipper slide the cable away and you can remove the whole screen all right so here comes the entire full screen we just remove it now let's let's talk about the model here um, i think you can look up from this angle it's going to be uh, sorry this product here is lnvb 201 h001 or you can look it up here something like here i think this might be the product number as well uh, for this screen here so I'll try to link it down in the description below if you're interested to find the screen replacement uh, you might want to check on the description down below this is a 40 pin connector I believe maybe it's a 13 pin. Um, do not quote me on this I do not really know if it's a 30 pin or 40 pin connector uh, but it does look like a 30 pin connector to me okay but I'll, I'll list it in the description below now the very simple process to install uh, what you want to do is you want to get yourself one of this double sided tape this double sided tape allows you to re-tape it back again so assuming that this is a new screen that just arrived to install what you want to do is make sure the clipper is open up and then slide it towards your body so slide it in Once it's in, close it down. Have the clipper close it down. Once you close it down, and then get the tape and then re-tape it again. It looks like my tape just let's do it again. Got the connector, slide it in, clipper, clip it down, tape, tape it down. The next step is to get yourself this double sided tape. What you want to do is you want to cut it up. I do not see my scissors. I think I lost my scissors. Well, I'm just going to cut it using. Um, all right. So you want to get the double sided tape down, okay, and kind of tape it down with a little bit of a tape sticking out on both sides because for the next future if somebody cracked the screen there's no way to, way to look for the tape to pull, alright. So we save it for the next guy who repaired the screen. For the second time they know where to pull that tape down all right so once you have the tape ready you go ahead and start installing the thing by going it align them to the top press it down and there you have it okay you just want to make sure you align them install and the next step is to put the bezel back in I find it easier if you move that screen all the way flat and push it all the way flat at 180 degree kind of press that side bezel down and you should be able to install alright I'm not doing a good job because this computer here is ready to be disposed and you just have to somewhat clean up the tape and tape it down nicely and they you just did a screen replacement um, on a Lenovo laptop all right so if you do find this video is helpful please go ahead and smash the like button for me um, I'm just doing this to show it to you and um, if you want to say thanks to me, you can go ahead and click on the super thanks, give some donations, 
uh, or through PayPal or through YouTube definitely you can do that all right do not forget to check the link down description below we will link the screen replacement where you can buy the parts and the uh, the double-sided tape do not forget about the tape all right thanks for watching until next time bye now